saying you don't have a right to express yourself. Of course you have a right to express yourself. No, I'm not. I'm not asking you to censor your emotions. Well, yes, because you've forgotten the context. You were talking about Christmas and, and birthdays and how you're expected to remember all those things with the kids and, and your sister's kids and my sister's kids. Then you started saying that was expected because you're a woman. And then that broadened out into all men are crap, etc. And it was then you launched the you should call your father more often line. Well, I feel bad about Dad too, but it was the context that I rebelled against. The context of you being perfect and me being shit, basically. <laughs> no, sorry, 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 sorry. That was the order. It was Christmas, birthdays, all men are crap. Dad, he's coming to the opening tomorrow night anyway, so... Well, if you had a memory instead of a hair trigger, we wouldn't. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Listen, 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 listen. This will be open tomorrow night, and after that we can get our lives back a bit. Except that Dad's staying with us while he's here, so... Hello? Well, it's just the way it is. Look, I have to work. Are you there? Hello? Well, because you're not saying anything. I never know whether you're listening. Look, if we can just try not to fight in front of him while he's here. No, it's just a sound effect in the play. No, we're just back in the rehearsal room. The crew are working in the theatre. Yeah, I am talking to you. Divorce? What? <laughs> Don't be silly, it's our wedding anniversary. I am always giving an inch. I've given hundreds of inches, miles. You know, I don't see it that way. The way I remember it, I'm the one who's always apologising. That's the way I remember it. Yeah, but I never get the last word. There are always more words, yeah? Hello? Stupid woman. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, right. So, enter through door one, stepping off to the right. One, two, three, slip, four. Loud scream. Laugh from the audience, laugh from the gardener. It's funny to you, not so funny to me. Exit OP after the gardener, who hurls down his rake in disgust. Re-enter just as Uncle Dave hits the landing with Sue. Sue says, my God, you were really pumping in there. I thought you were going to explode. Innuendo, 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 innuendo. Listen, 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 horror, exit to the patio, stepping on the rake, nosebleed, just as the sound of Jamie's car backfires. Enter Fran, the cleaner, through door two, kitchen. He shot himself. Woo, says Sue. Dickhead, says Fran. Actually, she says Brian. She faints. Sue faints off into the bathroom, unseen by Dave, who says, my nephew shot himself from mortal sin. But where's that poor prostitute, Sue? And he goes back in the gym. Prostitute? Run up the stairs, drag Helen out of the bathroom, mouth to mouth. Uh, not Helen, Sue. Sue, 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 Sue. Dave comes out of the gym, he's kissing her. He shot himself and he's forcing her on the floor, the poor prostitute. Prostitute, punch Dave into the gym. What says Jamie, who's just entered through door one. Chase, off through door five, and on through door six. Ah. Hey, Jules! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming back. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> hey, Bill! Uh, what a day, man! Is it always like this? Always. I'm wasted, man. I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, we've been working pretty hard on nerves, of course. I don't think it's nerves, dude. Trust me. I'm finding Helen a bit full on, to be honest. Really? In what way? Well, I don't want to talk without her being here. Right, sure. Well, let's get started. She's just, you know. I mean, she's pretty full on, you know? Like, she's always looking at me like I'm doing something wrong. She's a professional. All the time. She freaks me out. Today, right, I'm standing at the urn after we've acted in that scene together, right? She's turned her back on me like this. So I've gone round her to get a bit of face to face. She's done it again. I'm sure it wasn't deliberate. I don't think she likes me. Why wouldn't she like me? 
Who knows? <laughs> I thought we might have a little bit of a look at the bit before the end of Act 1. The end of Act 1? Mm. Oh, I think that's going great. It is? That's what I think. I mean, Alan's freaking about it. She's saying I'm not talking loud enough, or I'm talking too loud, or whatever. I'm just saying chill, you know? Do you think she's threatened by me? Is that it? <laughs> or maybe she wants to root me. And so she's thinking, there he is again. Oh, there he is again. Could be. I'm trying to be professional. Or maybe it's that thing of being so tantalisingly close to perfection, you just get impatient. And you know, Helen's like a dog with a bone. She'll maul away at it till she sucked out all the marrow. Ooh, what an image. Mm. 